This is web watching, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to start a mobile presence. And I'm super excited to talk to Scott Ellis, who has 15 years' experience in developing and consulting web and mobile content for lots of different companies and his own. So I'm really glad that we can talk about、um, how you can start. A mobile presence because that's really important nowadays, isn't it? It's very important nowadays. First of all, glad to be here, having,、yeah. having a fun chat.、Yeah. Um, but yeah, you've got to really put some consideration into mobile if you're not already de- delivering your content in some kind of a mobile format. Everybody uses mobile nowadays. <clears throat> Everybody uses mobile, and even if people aren't jumping right out and picking up an iPad or an iPhone and launching your website just to surf around and see what's going on.、Mm-hmm. Mobile is one of the primary ways that people are sharing content now. So there's a good chance that even if somebody isn't going directly to your site on their iPhone, that if you've got good content and it's interesting, somebody may send them a link to that, and they may be pulling that link、oh. up on their iPhone. Right? It's they're going to see it, or they're going to see it in Facebook and click on it,、yeah. or wherever that link happens to be. So sharing happens. So sharing happens a lot on mobile,、mm-hmm. and that means that people are going to be coming to your site on a mobile device of some sort. So let's talk about how to actually go about doing this. There、yeah. are three different ways to implement a mobile presence. Yeah, I、right? would say there are three primary ways. So first of all, you could build a native app.、Mm-hmm. Now, in most instances, if you're talking about a website, you probably don't want to go out and build a native app just for your website. So you would start completely from scratch. One, you'd start completely from scratch. Um, it's a very different skill set to build a native app. You've got to have to then build it across different platforms: Android,、yeah. iOS, possibly Windows Phone, maybe RIM if you want to go down that path. It's very expensive, very time-consuming.、Mm-hmm. If, if that's not really an option, if you can't really start completely、yeah. from scratch, that's kind of up over here somewhere.、Right. Most people are not going to go down that path. Yeah, but it is an option.、Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> the next two are a little bit more web. Friendly, a little bit more user friendly、um, to people that own websites or smaller medium businesses.、Uh, and the first one is called responsive design. Okay. And then the second one is going to be a dedicated mobile web design. 